Hey guys, Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. Personal reading link is in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to do a general collective reading here. And at the end, I'm going to check out you and each sign. So let's take a look here. General collective messages. Okay. So somebody here feels like you are a wish come true for them. Um, they feel very happy and content with you at this present moment. Okay. Um, this person seems to be in very good health. Uh, they have material abundance. Okay. And it looks like they're having some kind of awakening in their life at this time. Like might be they're reconciling things in regards to you and relationship. Okay. Judgment is definitely like this person. You are their purpose. Like for in life, right? I mean, it's because of you, whatever sign you are, it's because of you that this person, you give them inspiration. You make them feel like they are worthy um, by your attention. Now, this could be a past thing. It could be present. But I feel like there is some truth coming out from this person right now and uh, clarity, okay, about what you actually mean to them on a personal level. Okay, yeah, there was some kind of cutoff, though, with this person. Um, some uncertainty. And I feel like there is uncertainty right now because this person if you ended something with them or they ended or uh, they ended something with you there's a little bit of uncertainty about whether or not uh, you two are going to come back together or you it looks like some kind of harsh disconnect is what I feel some kind of harsh disconnect and I feel like this person is realizing currently and through the month of August that you are you know that nine of cups energy you're everything that they want everything that they need um, without you, I, yeah, of course, they'd go on with their life. But there's something here about the connection that you, you wake them up. Or they miss your wake-up calls or texts in the morning uh, or things that, are, you know, or look at, like waking up with you even. Okay, so there was some kind of cutoff that happened. There might have been a lot of physical um, lusty energy. And, and there still is, you know, but I feel like someone was hasty in cutting a relationship off. And it, maybe it was them. You know, this person might have ended it with you. Just boom, sliced, you know, this person here holding the three of swords. There are uh, some kind of an argument, a heartbreak, maybe a divorce. There's a loss of some sort. And I, I do feel like that it was very hasty. Okay. So the Empress is here. There might have been something involving a pregnancy um, or there's something to do involving a mother. Someone may have felt like they were being mothered um, and, or smothered, <laughs> which is not the Empress in the upright, but it could be that someone felt that way either way or just felt like they were being mothered instead of treating like treated like an adult or another or maybe you someone here felt this energy of like like a mother figure maybe somebody didn't want that okay you or another person there also might have been like i said some kind of issue with a pregnancy or somebody didn't want children or there was a finding out about a pregnancy and there was some kind of issue with that and that could be in the past, okay? So I feel like right now this person is, they have a real, even though they know that you are the person for them and they're waking up to this, they're struggling right now. I will say that. They are, they're struggling. They have some, some physical struggles as well. There might be some issues like some poverty or illness or some financial uh, dependence or issues like that. Okay, yeah. But you know what? Things are changing. I feel like this person, someone here is starting a new chapter, starting their life over, walking away from these struggles. 
let me see here so does this person they're kind of looking at themselves in a lot of ways where i feel like they were maybe a bit too condemning maybe a bit too condemning yeah i feel like they really want to have a new start with you here they do so right like i said this could this is for the collective so if this reading resonates for you then it's your reading okay it doesn't matter what zodiac sign i will say here we we do have scorpio we have libra we have aquarius leo taurus all right let's see there's definitely going to be a new start in august between you and this whoever your person is okay there's forgiveness there's healing yeah definitely there's healing the cup runneth over you know and this is like a blessing that comes in okay here's the devil there's a pushing back on this devil type energy okay uh fighting that devil type energy and that devil always comes with some addiction greed envy materialism obsession sexu sexual lust there's a lot of things i feel like are in the way of this relationship that someone here is protecting themselves or pushing back against this devil energy infiltrates and then it just kind of causes a virus that causes very toxic energy between two people and with the seven of wands i feel like someone here is protecting themselves or try is fighting to protect the relationship so yeah there is going to be a new start for sure a new beginning look a new opportunity for sure and i feel like this person really wants a new beginning and a new opportunity with you yes why because like i said they had this wake-up call or they're having a wake-up call that you are just everything for them They felt the most content and the most happy and the most joy when you and this person were together. Okay, so we do have the King of Cups showing up here. So also Capricorn is here. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So this could be somebody that you are dealing with or this is you. Okay, King of Cups is always someone in the upright who shows up as someone who's supportive, tolerant, has empathy is nurturing healing type of a person okay but they're also suspicious they're also and so if, i don't mean to call you out if this is you but there is this element of like feeling having been like a warrior like a vet like a maybe some ptsd or this person you know and it doesn't have to be that sign just so you know um, whatever sign you are, it doesn't matter. But I feel like this person has been through it. They have been through it. So there's a little bit of some trust issues going on. Now, listen, I'm not telling anyone here to be sympathetic to an abuser. If you feel like you've been with that, or you had that energy in your life, then, you know, the best thing to do really is, you know, keep moving forward. Um, but maybe pray or hope. I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, schools of thought out on that, and I'm not the end-all, be-all to everything. Everybody's situation is unique. Um, yeah, but I feel like this person may have, or you, or someone here may have um, dealt with someone who's, something has ended and it left major scars, okay? And, you know, I, having major scars and things like that are not, a reason to hurt other people but there is an old saying that hurt people tend to hurt people right so there might be something here to understand either about yourself or another person or the you know someone that you might be dealing with yeah look a lot of grief and um, sadness some remorse some regret someone here does feel a sense of regret and remorse for something ending or for being very hesitant or standoffish Okay, so, well, let's see what else is showing up here, the future. All right, so this is holding on really tight, not giving up. Okay, there's going to be communication. Queen of Swords is an energy. Could be with an air sign. There's going to be communication going forward. 
some truth, some clarity. Um, some some hardcore truth. It's not harsh, but it's it's revealing. Okay, something that someone was holding back and not saying, and I feel like what a person hasn't said is that you are their everything. You are their absolute joy and happiness. Um, I mean, I don't feel like this person doesn't have joy and happiness in their life, but I mean, I just get a feeling that there is, they, they just, nothing, oh, they're just giving me that old, Oh, I forget her name. Nothing compares to you. Song. Um, Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Or Prince. Whoever. Uh, I think he wrote that. Right? Okay. So there is some clarity and truth. Someone's self-reflecting. Doing a lot of self-reflection. Or has done a lot of self-reflection. Uh, is being truthful with themselves. The, the Queen of Swords makes me feel like self-aware. Because I look at the air. It's like self-awareness. It's very mental. Okay. Um, part of this conversation that's going to come out is um, someone saying, yes, I did block the energy of this relationship, or I did avoid, or I, I didn't let so-and-so in, I didn't let you in, um, or you didn't let them in, whichever. Now, there's Virgo energy here, but you know what? There's a love offer coming in. I feel like the, whoever your person is, seriously does love you like i mean there's it's it's true it's they're not like i mean they have really like romantic feelings for you and um yeah they have very romantic feelings for you there's definitely a proposal of some sort i feel like this person you know they want to bring that 10th cup to the nine I want to bring that 10th cup, which is total love and support. Okay. That's very interesting. Let me see their, how they feel. What their hidden feelings are. Because, yeah, we're spying. We're taking a sneak peek at their hidden feelings. Okay, so they want to be more than friends. So if you guys were like a friends with benefits or just friends. Now, this person wants more than that. I feel you, even though we are apart. Yeah, so obviously you guys are not connecting. My life is not together as it seems. It's not as together it is, as it seems. So I feel like this person might, in August, put on, they put on some kind of, um, they put on some kind of flex in some ways. Like they got it all together, but you know, if you see something on social media, yeah, it, I mean, you know, clarity and truth, the, 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 the judgment is, you know, kind of looking at past deeds. There is remorse here. So this person is sad. They might just be putting on a happy face. <clears throat> and I left you before you could leave me. So looks like they left or they set this situation up for you to leave them. You know how some people tend to like leave a relationship before they actually leave physically the relationship they might have left i hope that you can forgive me one day yeah i mean at this point i feel like that's their energy they do hope that you'll forgive them they think about you they replay the conversations over and over that you've had um they might even say the words that you've said uh, certain words that you use they use them and vice versa um, they reread texts emails um, they love you and they wish things could be different and they're really hopeful so you know they don't know if you're going to um, take them back or and they don't they're not they have no idea if you if your separation is the final they have no idea if they are if if that's the case um but they're hopeful even though they feel you leaving them behind they feel like you're leaving them behind um so i mean if this person left the relationship or left the connection before actually leaving which caused you to leave 
they feel that you're that you're gone right um they this person honestly when i feel like they when i get the energy of the message that they don't know if you're going to come back it's because they really feel like you have left and, and they can really feel that and that i feel like is causing them to to turn inward look at themselves and come to the truth about what you mean to them which is uh, like everything so much so that they want to love you somebody here i feel like didn't let another person love them for whatever reason okay yeah might have just made it a strictly sexual relationship or strictly passionate Okay, but this is a past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So I will say that this does, this is not somebody new coming in. This is the dynamic of this relationship at this time where it does feel as if another person here feels the energy. They can feel you that are, that you're showing up in their dreams. Things are reminding them about you. Okay, so expect to hear from them in August. Expect the love offer that's going to come through for sure. Um, I just want to see when in August. All right, they're saying August 28th. August 28th. Something's going to come. This A love offer is going to come to you August 28th. All right, let's move on and check the other signs. I'm going to take a look at Aries, see what Aries energy is towards you. Okay, Aries is absolutely in love with you. Aries feels like you guys have perfect alignment. They feel like uh, you guys are on the same page. They feel a spark between you. So this person feels like you are their soulmate. Aries feels like you are their soulmate. Okay, let's see Taurus. Yeah, Taurus is definitely feeling the that something is over here. They're definitely feeling like there's a transition and a change. And um, this may be causing them to make a change, but it, it, it may or may not. But going forward, I do feel like Taurus is feeling the end here big time. They're accepting that something has ended. They're coming into an acceptance. Okay. Gemini is stressed. Gemini is feeling a tremendous amount of anxiety and stress. They're having sleepless nights. They're stressed. They can't stop thinking and ruminating. And their mind is going a thousand miles a minute, which is Gemini, right? But they, their thoughts are overwhelming. Um, they're having a lot of anxiety. Um, they're mentally exhausted at this time. Mentally exhausted. Okay. So Cancer again, is feeling left out in the cold. Cancer feels abandoned. Cancer is feeling uncertain about the relationship with you. They're not well. They're isolated. Um, they're having some physical illness at this time, but they feel isolated. They feel rejected. They feel uh, like cold they feel very cold or they feel that you have been very cold or that you just are cold um, There's no growth here. That's how they're feeling like there's they're just feeling like Just left out in the cold pretty much. Okay, let's take a look at Leo. Oh Leo's got the eight of cups. Wow so Leo thinks that you have withdrawn that you have retreated you've moved on or you abandoned <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's not funny, but they do feel this way, like you have moved on to other people or to find new love or find a new lover. Leo feels like um, they're kind of hoping and wishing, though, um, that you're going to come back. Um, they're they're kind of waiting. <laughs> they're, Leo is waiting in some way, even though they know 
Uh, they may know that you deserve to find better or they they, they tell themselves well you deserve better um, and they want you to find your your happiness or create your happiness if that's with somebody else but I feel like they're hoping that you're going to return okay let's see how Virgo feels okay Virgo is shh, being in the high priestess mode so Virgo is Virgo's keeping some serious secrets and trusting themselves. Um, they're, they're behind the veil, so they're not really showing anything. You know, they're, they're deepest, their deepest secrets they're not revealing, but they also think that you're keeping secrets. The, Virgo thinks that you are hiding something or you're hiding behind the veil and that you're being mysterious. They think maybe it's on, on, on purpose. Yeah. And they're, they're trusting their instincts in regards to, like their intuition in regards to what's going on. Like they're getting intuitive downloads. But they, and they think that you are also very intuitive as well. But Virgo's, Virgo's kind of like, what, what, what are you, why are you keeping secrets? What are you hiding? They're curious. Okay. So Libra. Okay. Libra's waiting to hear back from you. They're waiting for a message. They're waiting for you to return their call. Libra's waiting to hear back. Um, they're wondering if you're going to respond, is what I'm hearing. Um, or I'm hearing, they're wondering if you're going to travel or if you're going to come their way. Or if you're going to, I'm hearing you're going to be around in their area. Lib Libra is kind of like... They stand out on the cliff there and they're kind of like thinking about you, but they also think that you're waiting for somebody else or something else. Libra thinks that you are expanding and um, maybe just focused on other things, but um, they are they are wondering if you're going to come back or if, you, or, or if you're going to respond, I'm hearing, or what your arrival time will be. <laughs> they're curious about the time. Okay, so... Scorpio thinks that you are only focused on your money and that you are only focused on material things and that all you're interested in really is business. <clears throat> um, dom being domesticated. Um, investing. They, they, Scorpio thinks that you just like your whole focus is, is on money. That's your, that's your only focus is on money. And while the King of Pentacles is a card of or it's an energy of someone who's sat the solid and practical leader who's very resourceful um they just think that that's what's most important to you and maybe it is but it looks like that's your priority in, re in regards to them and they're also hoping that you're doing well financially okay sagittarius oh sagittarius does not have good feelings about you right now <clears throat> they're kind of pissed off i feel um they think that they think you took something for, they're, they're pretty much paranoid or they really think that you're maybe a narc or they think that you are um just um, like th there's a lot of uncertainty that surrounds you they don't know they don't really, like they know you but they don't really know you they think they they thought they did but they're concerned um in regards to you and the relationship is um why you are they feel like maybe you're a bit inflexible or that you are just cruel they think that you're cruel but i feel like kind of what we saw there with the five of swords they're they're kind of like they feel like you just cut them off or that you just maybe you're very competitive or that they feel like you um are only concerned about your gains your own gains so so yeah they feel like you're selfish feel like or they feel like you're being selfish right now okay right now all right capricorn Hmm. Well, Capricorn, Capricorn wants to try to make this work. They, they really do. I feel like Capricorn feels like, they, 
they feel like if we just put, if, if they maybe put more effort into this or you both just try to put more effort into this relationship or learn or study or try to understand what's going to fix this or what's going to make this work on both ends um they do feel like you are very focused on your employment right now um they feel like maybe you are tremendously busy and too busy for them or that you just don't have time for them yeah uh, that that you're you're trying to build something you're trying to do something but they really want you to reduce some of that energy and focus on you both fixing your relationship that's their biggest their biggest thing okay so aquarius wow aquarius is super super impressed with you super impressed with you almost a little intimidated by you okay but aquarius is also trying to be what you need them to be as far as maturity goes as far as being someone who is like head of household or someone who can handle things they they, they want to be what you are because they view you as someone who is capable very capable um someone who can be trusted and someone who is dependable and someone who takes care of business or is just has this level of importance i feel like aquarius admires you greatly and they are right now admiring you at all your capabilities and the things you accomplish and maybe what you you do with kids or other people's kids or whatever it is the way you are they're, they're super super impressed with you you inspire them <coughs> excuse me okay and pisces oh wow pisces thinks you're like a magician <laughs> pisces thinks you have like the magic touch not even kidding another one who's super impressed with you but they also think that maybe you conjure up things and but either way they enjoy you they find you to be very entertaining you know they it's just another element of inspiration for some of you there might be an aquarius pisces cusp which would be like February 21st. Um, but they are just, they just view you as someone who's permit, like tremendously magical to them, which is interesting. Um, there's something special and unique and different about you. That is how they view you. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that collective reading there. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that this answers any questions that you guys are seeking or that you found some enlightenment here again if you want to get a personal reading click the link in the description box below and uh, i'm gonna try to be back here tomorrow to give you another reading all right take care bye you said i was the only one no one likes being like too